martial arts student Leroy has run out of levels to master. His teacher Ty has taught him everything he knows and is cutting Leroy loose. But Leroy still seeks the final level, the elusive level where the body will achieve a glow. Ty tells him that the quest for the glow he must make alone. When Leroy can't take no for an answer, Ty tells him of a great master named Sun Dum Goy. Ty presents Leroy with a medallion to present to the master when they meet. Before beginning his journey, Leroy takes in a Bruce Lee movie. The movie is interrupted by the karate master of Harlem, Show Nuff. Who's the baddest? Show Nuff. Now word on the street is not unanimous that Show Nuff is the baddest. Word is, Leroy is even badder. My vote goes to Show Nuff. This brother walks the street in pajamas and red shoulder pads. In my book, it don't get no badder than that. Anyway, Show Nuff steps to Leroy. He talks his shit, but Leroy is not up for a fight. When someone in the crowd dares remind Show Nuff that they trying to watch a damn movie in there, Show Nuff requests that they volunteer some ass for a kicking. A melee breaks out in the theater, and true to his word, Show Nuff kicks ass. He even bit a cat. During all of this, Leroy walks out the side door, and Show Nuff lets him know it ain't over. Eddie is a small time thug who intends on making his old lady Angie into a superstar. A shortcut to fame would be getting Angie's video played on the popular TV show Laura's Video Hot Picks. Eddie has managed to threaten one of Laura's assistants to get Angie's video into rotation, but Laura isn't going to let anyone dictate the content of her show. The answer is a hard no. Well, Eddie don't like being told no, so he goes harder. After Laura leaves her show and jumps into the limo, she realizes it's not the usual driver. Eddie done got his henchmen to kidnap her, but Leroy is there to save the day. Well, technically it was nighttime, so he saved the night. He went Hong Kong Fui on the thugs and they ran off. He makes sure that Laura is okay and then disappears before she can get all up in his business. Unfortunately, he dropped his medallion before jetting and when he returned, it was gone. But no worries, Laura scooped it up. Angie is getting weary of Eddie's tactics. It done got less about her video and more about Eddie feeling like he's getting fucked with. His thugs report back empty handed. Eddie decides it's time to go even harder. Leroy is at his dojo with his students. He's teaching that the best way to win a fight is not to get into a fight shit. In comes the master, Show Nuff. Who's the meanest? Show Nuff. Show Nuff challenges Leroy once again, but Leroy still resists. Show Nuff downgrades the challenge and asks his ladies to fight Leroy. Still no deal. The goons grab and threaten one of Leroy's students. This coerces Leroy to kiss Show Nuff's feet. Show Nuff kicks that chump and lets him know that this shit ain't gonna end anytime soon. Leroy drops in on Mom's Pops and his little managed brother Richie. Richie is fantasizing about Laura on the TV screen. Old boy probably had this poster on his wall like me. Leroy recognizes Laura from the night before and Richie clues him in on who she is. Leroy asks Richie's assistance in meeting Laura because she may have his medallion. The two brothers await Laura outside of her studio. Leroy witnesses Laura getting kidnapped again. The kidnappers drop a clue to their location. Back at Eddie's place, he's applying the pressure to Laura. Despite physical threats, Laura still refuses to put Angie's video on. By the way, I forgot to mention, Angie has absolutely no talent. Good heart, no talent. Leroy bursts into the room and starts kicking cats in the back of the head. He puts down all threats and tells Eddie to stand down. Laura is feeling Leroy. She over there cheesing and rubbing her thighs together. Eddie decides it's time to go. You guessed it. Even harder. Back at Laura's place, she returns the medallion to Leroy. Before she can put the moves on him, that boy out the door to find the master. I understand you're trying to find the master player, but read the room. I think Laura's about to give you some glow. Leroy finds the building of the master Sum Dum Goy. The Asian cats outside were rapping, and Leroy is deep into the martial arts. It was like the appropriation Super Bowl out there. They clown Leroy and send him away. Show Nuff still stalking Leroy. Who's the strongest? Show Nuff. This time, Show Nuff goes to the pizza joint of Leroy's parents. The folks smart off at the master and Show Nuff's crew tear up the place. Little Richie gets dumped into a garbage can. There ain't no slacking in Show Nuff's musical taste as he destroys the TV show and Laura's videos. Leroy watches Show Nuff leave the pizzeria and enters his parents' place. It's wrecked. Richie goes off on Leroy for not nipping all this Show Nuff shit in the bud a long time ago. Angie becomes concerned that Eddie is getting too gangster and breaks out before she get caught up in a 187. Eddie done round up some dangerous cats to handle Leroy, but his crowning achievement is landing the services of Show Nuff. He can't go no harder than that. Who's the master? 
showing up. Angie drops by the dojo to warn Leroy of Eddie's intent. Laura invites Leroy inside her studio for a private showing of Bruce Lee's Fist of Fury. Little brother Richie's bubble is burst when he finds his brother putting lips on his fantasy girl, Laura. The Bruce Lee film gives Leroy an idea to go undercover to meet the master. As he leaves, Richie has made a U-turn back into Laura's studio just in time to see Laura getting kidnapped for yet a third time. Damn, maybe this chick should just stay in the house. Leroy tries again to get access to the master, some dumb goy. The guys there eventually tell Leroy that the whole some dumb goy master thing was something that they made up. Confused, Leroy goes back to his old teacher Tay to ask him what the fuck. Tay tells him that he already gave his slow ass a hint and a half that he already possessed the tools to achieve the glow. Leroy learns of Angie's warning and goes off to rescue Laura. He gets there and walks into Eddie's trap. Leroy is surrounded by the bad guys. With assistance from his students, plus this little kid who couldn't decide whether he wanted to break bones or break dance, Leroy takes down the bad guy. However, Eddie escapes with Flora. Leroy catches up to them. He enters the building, and now it's time for the main event. Bruce Leroy versus Shonuff. There's some back and forth, but Leroy gets an early advantage. Then Shonuff broke out his red glow. He about to make short work of that chump. Who's the master? Shonuff. Just gotta get Leroy to bow down, and then we can roll the credits. Oh no, Leroy finally got his glow, and his glow is outglowing Shonuff's glow. He kicks Shonuff into a vat of water, and his curtains for Shonuff. Now here comes Eddie with that steel. He shoots Leroy in the head. You probably guessed it, but Leroy caught the bullet in his teeth. He hangs up Eddie, not by the neck. He hangs him up for the cops to arrest him. Laura is back on TV, longing for her ass-kicking cornball boyfriend. Who's the master? Bruce Leroy, at least until Shonda gets a rematch.